This is DBA Cockpit's initial screen, the performance overview. We will see how to understand some of these areas. In the highlighted area, you can check some indicators like the data buffer quality that is recommended to be above 94%, but that is only relevant if the sum of logical and physical reads is over 20 million and you are facing performance issue, otherwise this can be disregarded. For other cases, when the metric is below 94%, increasing the buffer pool parameter dB cache size should help. Node 618868 is relevant for the topic. For this system, there is much more than 20 million reads and you can see the quality is 99.7%, which is pretty good. You can scroll down the page to look the remaining information, like the shared pool quality, which will help you size in this specific memory area. Note 789011 is a good reference about the Oracle SGA. There is the instance efficiency as well. The indicators need to be close to 1 or 100%. You can see the parse time CPU per parse time elapses is terrible in here, but this is because there is no repetition in the queries. On systems with high use of bind variables, this should be close to 100. Ok, so now let's open the Oracle session monitor. By default, this will only show the active sessions, so don't worry if you don't see any. Just scroll down to see all the sessions. You may use this in combination with SM66. The PID in SM66 is equivalent to the client process ID in the session monitor. In this case, most of the active sessions are the Oracle processes itself, so in the client process ID column you see the process name. The only PID we see here is the 27995 as highlighted. This is actually the session I used to open the monitor. There is no activity in the system besides mine, so I'll just use the session to show you where to find the SQL statements execution plan. Here you will see the whole SQL text and what is the access plan you use it to get the data from the table itself. This example is just accessing Oracle fixed views, so we are not able to open the table's information. By clicking on regular tables, you will be able to see the table's statistics and the indexes available. This will provide you with enough information so you can check whether the access plan is optimal. But SQL Dateman Tuning is a very comprehensive topic that I will not talk about this time. Here you can see the whole execution plan. The actions farther right and farther up in this order are executed first. Ok, so now let's get back to the previous screen. The system event area is very important for finding the root cause of performance issues. Here you see the events that are keeping more sessions waiting in your database. A good practice is to use this event's name to look for SAP nodes. The node FAQ, Oracle Wait Events, is a good starting point. Hope this helps achieving a better understanding of a database performance issue investigation. Thanks for watching. Bye.